We will be teaching ankle goniometry. For this test, you will need a goniometer and a patient. First, we will begin with examining dorsiflexion. Have your patient in a short sitting position, so instruct them to sit at the end of the table with their legs bent. Then to test their movement, ask them to point their toes towards the ceiling. To position the goniometer, place the fulcrum aligned with the lateral malleolus, The stationary arm should be aligned with the midline of the lower leg using the head of the fibula as a reference. The moving arm should be aligned with the fifth metatarsal. Be sure to line up the patient's foot at 90 degrees to begin. Then have your patient once again point their toes towards the ceiling into dorsiflexion and measure at the end of this range. Nine degrees dorsiflexion. So he would be in normal range because that would be zero to 10. Now we'll be measuring plantar flexion. Have your patient remain in a short sitting position with their legs hanging off the table. Align the fulcrum of the goniometer with the lateral malleolus. Place the stationary arm in line with the midline of the lower leg and the movement arm with the fifth metatarsal. Then bring the patient up to 90 degrees. And from there, we'll have them actively plant our flex to their leg and tell them to instruct them to point their feet towards the ground. Then measure their range of motion. 55 degrees. 55 degrees would be normal range of motion for plantar flexion because the normal range of motion for this is 40 to 60 degrees. Now we'll be measuring inversion of the ankle. You will need a goniometer and one patient. Make sure your patient is in the short sitting position with their legs off the table. We will now align the goniometer with the ankle. Make sure that the fulcrum is arranged between the two malleoli. And the stationary arm should be in line with the midline of the tibia. And then the movement arm should be in line with the second metatarsal. Then instruct your patient to point their foot inwards and measure the range of motion. Forty-eight. Our patient has forty-eight degrees range of motion, which is slightly hypermobile, mobile, seeing as the normal range of motion for inversion would be thirty-five to forty-five degrees. Now we'll be measuring eversion of the ankle. Our patient will again be in the short sitting position and we'll use the same strategy to measure eversion as inversion. So place the fulcrum of the goniometer between the two malleoli. Again, with the stationary arm in line with the midline of the tibia and the movement arm in line with the second metatarsal. Then instruct the patient to move their foot outwards and record range of motion. 30 degrees. So we have 30 degrees range of motion, which again is slightly hypermobile as the normal range of motion for eversion is 15 to 25 degrees. Now we will be measuring inversion of the hind foot. So have your patient lay prone with their foot hanging off the table. 
We'll place the fulcrum of the goniometer between the two malleoli on the back of the foot. Line up the stationary arm with the midline of the leg and the movement arm with the midline of the calcaneus. Then instruct your patient to point their foot, their foot inwards and measure their range of motion. 20 degrees. So our patient has 20 degrees range of motion. This is normal because the normal range of motion for in inversion of the hind foot is 5 to 25 degrees.